So normally, under normal circumstances, I would just lose the game. Yeah, I think I missed a fork somewhere along the line, so... This is a very dubious setup for for black. A6, B5 is just a waste of uh, colossal time. I just need to remember what was the best here. I think it was Knight C3. Maybe not. Maybe it was Short Castle sacrificing the board. I didn't remember. Ah, wait! Yeah, this is what I was recommending. Short Castle. 94, rookie 1d5, c4. Okay, but there. Let's assume that's a pawn sacrifice. I slightly blundered it, but it's such a traditional idea that. <clears throat> should survive. Uh, there's a very interesting, very interesting move C4. Yeah, let me try it. So of course I'm interested to open the position as much as I can. Takes, takes, bishop e7. Did I just misplay it? Yeah, maybe I did. After. Let's do something fun here. Uh, of course I didn't have to do this, but... This is a dubious setup in general. For, for black. So I'll try to keep the black king in the center as long as possible. <clears throat> Knight c7, some ideas here. I think he just misplayed it. King f7. Just a second. Just a second. Ah, there should be some immortal mate here. Ah, let's go for it. <laughs> Maybe there is none, but... So I want to play rookie 1, rookie 5. The rook on h8, I don't really care. So if he plays bishop f6, rook e1, king f5, rook e5, bishop e5, queen e5, king g4, and he goes for it. That's a mate, buddy. <clears throat> so, there you go. That's an immortal game. King g4, king g2. From Latvia with love. Hello? Not sure what he can do here, so yeah. Maybe it takes, takes King G4. Is there a forced win? Forced mate? Should be forced mate somewhere. King g2, queen f5. Ah, there's queen e2. Okay, there's mate. There's mate. Alrighty, alrighty. GG.